What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about Nightmare on Elm Street in this video here today and talking about what it seems Robert England wants to do for Nightmare on Elm Street and what he thinks the best step forward would be for Nightmare on Elm Street and going over this idea that he apparently had, not that he had, but that he was aware of that never came to fruition in relation to a prequel film for Nightmare on Elm Street. It was called like First Kills or The First Kills or something like that. So he's touched on this prequel over the over the last decade or so. Uh, even prior to that, I think he hit the first time I, were, I think I came across him talking about this was a article all the way back from 2003 after the release of Freddy vs. Jason. But more recently in the later 2010s in like 2018, 2019, and then at the start of 2020 even, he was talking about this project called The First Kills that unfortunately never came to fruition. Now, he said that he said that there was this great script. This is in some interviews I'm reading. There was a great script called Kruger, The First Kills. And he talked to somebody from New Line about it at an Oscar party. At one time, they wanted to do it documentary style. And I thought that was a great idea. And the best characters were the lawyers who get Freddy off during the courtroom scenes. The cops who catch Freddy were great characters too. And of course, it ends with Freddy being burned alive. And I heard that at one time, they were thinking of John McNaughton as the director who did Henry Portrait of a Serial Killer. That is something I really wish could have happened he has also gone on record to state that that's one of his biggest regrets i guess with this franchise that this prequel movie never came to fruition now the fact that there was something like this in the works does make me intrigued to see how it would have played out because it seems as though going off of how many times he's brought it up and the enthusiasm he seems to have had when talking about it he seems like he's on the direction of thinking that they should a not try to reboot or remake that original movie again but if you're going to revive this franchise for a second time do a prequel movie first introduce your new audience to freddy introduce them to springwood introduce them to all of this stuff that transpires prior to freddy becoming a nightmare demon and then go from there and i'm not saying i would be against that um as much as i would have loved to see this play out with Robert England in the role. Because I think Robert England himself is in a place where he's like, okay, I would rather see someone else do the role. But if they find a way for me to cameo, then it seems like he would be down to at least return in some capacity as Freddy Krueger for a brief second. He's also given a stamp of approval for Kevin Bacon taking on the role of Freddy Krueger. And I know many other people have also stated they would love to see that portrayal come from um, Bacon himself. So if we see a new night, a new night nightmare in elm street movie they could do a film in which we see the parents of springwood and this trial that freddie endured and how he got off due to a technicality getting to see freddie in prison getting to see all of these different things play out prior to what actually happens in the French as we all know and love and then branch it out into your own new modernized franchise that borrows aspects of these sequels and the original film that again everyone knows and love but you're doing your own unique spin on it you can have you can have Nancy in it if you want to but I would probably leave Nancy out of it you know come up with a whole new slew of Springwood Springwood kids for us to grow invested in because and i a movie where it's just freddy krueger as a human first and we get to see this man go on these killings and target these children in a lot of ways if it's done in the style of the black phone i think that could work maybe even bring in the person responsible for the black phone i can't think of their name right now but they're also responsible for sinister if you can do a movie in the vein of that related to a child murderer and it's tied to nightmare on elm street i think you would have a hit on your hands because the concept of kruger the first kills while it sounds unique i am a little disappointed that if it were to happen it would not include robert england most likely because too much time is coming gone because it sounds like what happened to this project is it got lost somewhere in between a merging of companies and they, they never talked about it ever ever again but apparently it was something that was very close to happening because robert england has talked about it on so many different different occasions in the past and we've heard nothing but mentions of how freddie was prior to becoming this dream demon throughout the series we haven't actually seen anything play out in a full-length film but even at the start of freddie versus jason we get to see robert england playing a human version of 
Fred Krueger before he became that nightmare demon. And even that was something very nice to see and exciting to see. We do get to see glimpses of what he was like prior to being that demon in even Freddy's Dead, the final nightmare, when we learn about his daughter and his and the childhood she had and her ties to Freddy, all of that stuff and how she was taken from him. So if they want to do a movie where we chronicle Freddy as a human, Freddy getting caught, Freddy going through trial, lawyers that are involved, the two cops that are involved that I guess due to the technicality and their mistakes end up resulting in Freddy getting off and then having the movie end with the thing we know brought him to where he is now with the parents of Springwood taking matters in their own hands because they find the system to be faulty, they find the system to be corrupt, they want justice for their kids and if the system cannot bring them that correct set of justice, they are going to get that justice in their own hands. So the movie of course would end with Freddy being burned in his factory and that's how the movie would just end. And then of course you can establish your own new sequel if that prequel film is successful, establish a whole new sequel, set it many years later, give us a whole new slew of kids to follow in Springwood. You don't even have to bring back Nancy or any of these other people. It can be a remake that's redoing its own thing. At that point, I guess it wouldn't even be a remake. It would be more of a reboot if you don't have Nancy or anyone involved in it. But I think that if they were to do a prequel movie and then just branch out into their own unique franchise going forward, that would be a good reboot route to take. And I liked coming across these articles of Robert England mentioning this project that just never happened because it really just sparked my intrigue as to how that probably could have worked out something that might have m reminded a lot of people even a movie like joker uh and again something like the black phone even with scott derrickson responsible for this new iteration of freddy krueger as a human seeing him as a child murderer going through this trial seeing how he got off and then ultimately seeing the parents taking matters into their own hands that could have played out very well, especially if Robert England would have gotten to be in the role. But unfortunately, if it were to happen today, that's not going to happen because Robert England is getting up there in age. But he has made it known that he would be down for a cameo. As far as we know right now with Nightmare on Elm Street, the Craven Estate, they last I heard they're trying to get a new project going, either in the form of a movie or a TV show. But nothing has concretely come out about anything moving forward with that ip since we heard about the craven estate being open to accepting pitches so hopefully freddy krueger can return in the future because with jason now being on his way back freddy seems like the last person out of the icons that we're all waiting to see back and hopefully it happens sooner rather than later but let me know what you guys think about this prequel that didn't happen down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notification that you never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i'm on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course to let me know if there are any movies news or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video